Hey guys, so we ended the day one pick'em challenge with two incorrect. We got the 50-50 G2 versus Mel's wrong, and we also got the Nip versus Titan wrong. I was kind of feeling a 55-45 for that one. So, but we end up getting six, and and for the fantasy team, we're in the top one percent. So at least we got that going for us. And also, I just got my Twitch sub button. So if you don't follow me on Twitch already, you should follow me on Twitch. Now, I actually think the first two days don't matter too much because on day three and day four and day five, it's worth nine points, six points, and five points. So day uh, day one and two pretty much don't matter too much. So even if you lose here, it's okay. So first up, we got Cloud9 versus Vexed. Uh, Vex is probably the worst team at the Majors, so we're probably just going to give it to Clown9. Mouse versus Flipside, uh, Mouse Sports, the better team. Nip versus Liquid, even though uh, Liquid went to overtime against uh, VP, NIP has been Liquid five times in a row or more, so we have to give it to NIP. Counter Logic versus Dignitas is probably going to be the closest game, but after looking how they played today and... I don't know. I just think Dignitas is a little bit weak right now with the addition with Tenski. I actually think CLG might take this, but I think this is going to be a close match. This could easily go to Dignitas. By far, this is probably by far the closest match. Fnatic versus Luminosity. Luminosity obviously has a chance, but Fnatic, like, tier 1 team. TSM versus G2, same story. G2 has a chance to beat TSM, but TSM, obviously the better team. VP versus Titan, another super close match. But I think VP is just a little bit better than 10 right now, so we gotta give it to VP. Envious versus Navi is gonna be a close match as well, but we gotta give it to Envious because Envious is top three world. Navi probably top four. Envious probably top two actually. Yeah, probably firm top two. So almost all these bets I'm pretty firm on for the pick. I mean for the pick'em, except for me, Seals versus Dignitas. Obviously, any of these games can be upsets, but this is what I'm going with. For the fantasy, at the moment we're at 1% because we got 224 points, mostly due to Cold Zero. Unfortunately, Nico pretty much didn't get us like too many points, but at least we're still in the 1%. So hopefully we can hold it down and at least get gold in 5%. So for my lineup, it's gonna be Device, Flusha, Happy, The Pre, and JDM. The two people I feel at least confident about, and I might switch. I'll probably tell you guys on Twitter if I end up doing is probably Device and Flusha. I'm pretty firm on GDM, the pre and happy. And I'll tell you guys why I picked who I picked. So for Sniper, we got uh, GDM. Obviously, if you look at the Sniper kills, he has what? Shit, let me go. Uh, so for Sniper kills, he has three matches played, 48 Sniper kills. If you look at GDM's recent uh, matches, it's, he has a really high kill death ratio in my opinion. And also he's playing against Dignitas. That means you're going to distance and rounds. So for Sniper kills, you need to have like more rounds played to have more sniper kills, obviously. So, I'm not picking Kenny S once again because if they do save up the op, they might not even give it to Kenny S. Also, between Envious and Navi, they might end up playing Inferno. So, if it's Inferno, you probably don't want to pick Kenny S as the opper, but he's not gonna even op too many rounds. Even though Kenny S, obviously, he can drop dirty bomb bomb like randomly, but for the most part, I'm gonna be going with JDM over Kenny S just because, like. If they save it, they might give it happy, but happy, you know, he just takes it. So for Eco Warrior, I feel pretty confident about this pick too. Happy. Why? Because they always fucking force up. Wait, pistol kills. Where is he at? So for pistol kills, he's number four, but it's only three behind, so he's pretty much tied for number one, in my opinion. So why is Happy such a good pistol player on Envious? It's because they always force up, like whenever they can. And also when he's opping, he's gonna have a pistol behind him, right? So he whoops out the pistol, or he's on a force buy. So I'm going with Happy there, and he's also like, like he's also like a really good KDA on Envious, as he's one of the top fraggers there. Entry fragger, I'm going with the pre because he's TSM's uh, entry fragger. Opening kills, I'm pretty sure opening kill is not that high, not in the top five, I think. Uh, yeah, he's not in the top five. Apex is a better known entry fragger in my opinion, but here I'm be going with the pre because I think he's gonna have really good KDA also, with addition with the entry frags. So I'm be going with uh, JDM. I'm pretty firm. Uh, the pre, pretty firm, and happy. I'm pretty firm about him too. Now these two are my kind of eh. I might change them, just because these two you pretty much pick anybody in like the entire game, in my opinion. But for KDA, I'm gonna be going with uh, Device for now because he had like the top two KDA and they're going against G2, I think. I'm pretty sure they're going against G2, so the Vice should have a pretty decent KDA. 
I actually might switch it just because I might pick someone from Mel Sports or actually even Cloud9 just because of how the system works. Because you want it to go the distance and not, like you want more rounds being played so to get more kills. And for Clutch King, I might change this to Snacks. I might change this to Get Right. But right now, we're going with Flusha. I'll tell you guys if I do end up changing. But for my right now, my roster is Device, Flusha, Happy, Dupree, and JDM.